past five games, man, you know, they've lost four out of five. And, Tough. Um, you know, they, they've hit some little struggles. But what do you think in, that, in this last four to five game stretch is, uh, has, been, is, has been going wrong in this stretch? What do you think they need to do to kind of get out of that? That well, well, me and you spoke about it earlier before we yeah. jumped on here about about how the like the first eight games of the season how they weren't giving up the three point the three pointer yeah. that that well like uh, guys the teams weren't shooing that well against them maybe twenty nine percent or something like that you told me yeah um, and and of late teams have been shooting close to you know forty five percent so yeah um that that's obviously a huge difference which means that you know teams are probably getting easier shots um coming off of penetration and guys kicking or yeah. Uh, you know, just not understanding their defensive their defensive rotations, maybe because yeah. of you know the lineup changes or, or or guys, you know, just not understanding. Uh, maybe having some young guys in, or just maybe guys playing different position and not yeah. uh, playing different positions because they're playing you know small ball. Um, not understanding those rotations, and that's big. You know, like if a guy gets beat and a guy steps up and the other guy doesn't rotate, it's always going to be an open shot. So oh, like if that rotation, if if one penetration or one kick or one one swing swing, and that guy doesn't rotate, there's an open shot there, or 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 somebody playing off a bad closeout. So yeah, yeah, yeah man, you just gotta stop the ball. You gotta you gotta you gotta you gotta play some defense, man. Yeah. Guys shooting the ball at when guys shooting the three ball at that rate and teams shooting so many, or at, at that percent percentage and teams are shooting so many, it's tough to win tough to win yeah. games like that. You're not yeah, getting yeah. stops. It's tough to win games. And you know, I had I had D Block on uh, on last week, and you know, I've seen that. He, yeah, he talked real. He talked a lot about when we were talking about kind of what can they do a little bit different. You know, getting out of this funk. Um, he real talked about. I mean, you kind of mentioned it too. Paying attention to detail. You know. Yeah. Uh, doing those little things, missing those rotations. You know, Coach Self and, and his staff. You know, they're they're going over shell drill. They're going over all those rotations. I know they do it every day. Yeah. <laughs> I know, so, I know they know, do it every, I know they report, do it every single day. I know it. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, it could boil down to more of a, a scouting report, you know, you, you make sure you're, you're paying attention or asking more questions, getting a little bit more help on that end. But that was a definitely a great point that, that you brought up. So, Hey, do you, Hey, here's our next question. Cause neither you or I have experienced this ever. And I don't think anybody before this, this year has either. 16,300, not in the stands, man. That's tough, man. That's another thing. I was thinking about that the other day, too, man. Like, that's such a disadvantage for us. Like, as, as crazy as as crazy as crazy it sounds, like, not having our fans there is such a disadvantage because it's such an advantage for us when we have them. You know, like, it's such an advantage, man, and that must suck. Just, just having to go through this whole experience, man, I, I could only imagine how tough it is for all these kids to play and have to yeah. get through this, man. Like, <laughs> you know, just not seeing fans and family and not, ha you know, not, not having that support system there when you're going yeah. through, going through, you know, that's, that's, that's something that we look forward to yeah. um, as, as, as competitors and kids in, in school and stuff like that. Hey, so it's funny. It's funny. Yeah. Oh, my bad. No, you good. I, like I said, I, I just think that's tough, man. I, I couldn't imagine having to go through that. Yeah. It, it's funny, man, because we come to KU because we know and we got the big target on our back and we want to be like, yeah, let's go. But then you also come too, Ty, you know, you also come too because 16,300 fans is in the stands. So, yeah, you know, looking in a pandemic, like when I look at the team, I'm like, geez, I just sometimes watch, I'm like, man, how, how do you, how they, how they mentally doing that? I mean, obviously they gotta, they gotta go with the flow. They gotta, you know, next play, they can't focus on things that aren't going to, you know, they got to focus on things that they can control. But I'm like, hey, man, I, how would that feel not having I'm sure. I'm college? sure that's one of the things that Coach Self is probably pounding in their yeah. heads, too, is kind of just block this whole thing out. Like, yep. we got to – it's like practice. I'm sure he's making up different scenarios for them to make it feel like yeah. this is what we have – you know, this is what we have to do. If no fans, this is like a practice game or this yep. is a scrimmage. And we got to – you know, he's making it feel – in a way where they have to block it out. I don't know exactly how because I haven't been there, but I'm sure he has his he has his ways of of, of you know of of making guys 
pull together, you know, yeah, and, yeah, and, sure. and, and, and and focus in on what what this what the uh, situation is at hand. And obviously, that's winning games. That's winning yeah. games, and, and 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 trying to be a Big Twelve champion, and and trying to get to the NCAA, and and, and so forth and so on. So, um, I don't know how he's doing it, but I'm sure he's trying to make he's trying to make them focus under these circumstances because, boy, I know it was hard enough for us to focus with regular life going on. Well, no, so yeah. just imagine like not having people to bounce this stuff off to or your frustrations or, you know, losing games is frustrating within itself yeah. and not having people there to support you and, you know, like be able to talk to about it other than like how we doing must be tough, you know, so. Yeah. That crowd's scary, man. That crowd can No, be for scary. sure. No, for sure, <laughs> man. That's a, it's an advantage. Yeah, it's an it advantage. Is. Anybody that's played there tell you that. Yeah, for sure. Played hey, against so, us, anybody. Yeah. So going back to, going back to, uh, Last night's game. So he mixed Coach Self mixed up the lineup. Not starting Jalen, Jalen, J- excuse me, Jalen Wilson and starting mm-hmm. Dewan Harris. What do you think? What do you think of Dewan Harris's game and his ability to be one of the next great, KU great point guards? Well, I think he's great, man. Like you said, one of the, the ability to be one of the next greats. I think, you know, um being being a younger guy, just Coach Self trusting him. You know, Coach Self yeah. putting the ball in his hand and trusting him. And that's, you know that says something within itself. So yeah. um, he just got to stick with it. Um, I like Jalen a lot though. I got a chance to play with yeah. Jalen a couple summers ago when he was first coming in and I think he has great potential, but you know, um, just keep going with it. You know, like like yeah. you said, they're in a tough, they're in a tough stretch right now. So I think both of those guys will will, will get out of, get out of whatever they're going through and, and end up playing better for us. Um, obviously we want Jalen, we want Christian, we want guys like that to play better, score yeah. more points, shoot the ball better, but um, that's part of it. You know, that's part yeah. of it. Just stay with it. And coach is going to, you know, probably be on these guys and, and switch the lineups and just stay with it. You know, that's, that's the yeah. best advice I could give. I, I, like I said, I like both of those guys. I think, um, I think the, the ability to get in the paint, I think um, to get guys, get guys shots, um, create their own shot. That's one of the big things that's going to take them to the next level is being able to For create sure. their own shots as well as get guys yeah. shots. So I think they both have that ability. Um, but yeah, just stay with it, man, because it's a slump right now, man, and that's tough. But uh, guys will play better, and I know that. Yeah, man, they need they need to pull out some old uh, Tyshawn Taylor films. They want to know how to get their shot go off. You, go, you go, it, man. It's still there, baby. <laughs> you might need to. You might. Hey, you might need to post a. Uh, you might need to post a throwback clip on your on your social media sites, man, so it's easy for and accessible for them. Man. Get them boys amped up or something, man. <laughs> Hey, so we'll talk a little, we'll talk David McCormick. So he was solid last night offensively, and he's mm-hmm. been playing really good, you know, over the last four or five games, even in this bad funk, as far as the Jayhawks not being able to win games, you know, losing four out of the last five games. He's actually played really solid, but last night he played solid, having 17 points, but only had two, two rebounds. rebounds. Yeah, I've seen you that know, too. What do I mean? And you play with some some of the some of the best of the beasts on the board, so Thomas Robinson, the yeah. Morris Twins. From your perspective, uh, how do you think, or excuse me, what do you think he needs to do to be better on the glass? Um, I don't know, man. You know, you know, because I'm not a big man and rebound is yeah. not my art. I yeah. would just say like what what coaches would say, like. Uh, rebounding comes from just being, you know, just wanting it more. Just, yeah. just, just, yeah. you know, just when you win this, when the ball is in the end, it's the 50 50. It's just about who wants it. So, you know, um, yeah, just going to get it, man. He, he, he obviously is athletic. He has the ability to strong, um, long. Um, I, I, again, I play, I got a chance to yeah. play with Dave a couple summers ago. Um, and I love the way he's been playing. Like you said, yeah, throughout, throughout the games of where they haven't been winning, he's been, he's been one of the guys that's been, you know, pretty consistent um, throughout. Um, but definitely when you, when you look at that stat sheet and you see 17 points and only two rebounds, you want to see more, you want to see more from your big man, especially yeah. playing like 33, 34 minutes or something yeah. like that. Um, you want to see, you definitely want to see more, but um, I didn't get a chance to watch the whole game. So I, I couldn't see how it played out, but I definitely think when you're playing four guards and playing four guards and one big, the guards are going to be standing back depending on you to go get that ball. And yeah. I've been, again, I've been in that situation where we had Travis at our four or Connor T and at our four with T Rob at the five. And yeah. we all kind of playing around the, playing around the three point line ready to break out because we just <laughs> knew he was going to get it, you know? So yeah. um, 
just got to be one of those kind of guys, just want to go get it. 